Hello everyone, welcome to a new video today. For this layout, I am working on something that is for the collaboration that I'm doing all year long in 2020. And the collaboration and group is called For the Love of Crafting and Sharing. And for March, our prompt is to use a sketch. We can use any sketch we want as long as it's free to obtain. And then we have to make our layout according to that sketch. So here's the one that I have selected. This is from Page Maps. I found it on Pinterest, but I know you can go to Page Maps and they have all of their past layouts for free available. So you can find those, at least the last time I checked, for free and use them any way you like. So this is the one I'm going to do. It works for me because I've got a 6 by 12 full page layout here and I want to use pictures from my trip to New York. So looking at the sketch here, they have actually cropped these quite a bit. I don't know that I'm going to crop them that much. I will a little bit so that they're not end to end here, covering the entire sides of the layout. But I don't want to cut off a whole bunch. Here I can kind of cut off this sliver where the window is showing just a little, maybe to the middle here, almost to the middle of where the next window starts. And then here, I'm not sure which side... I would trim off maybe right here because there's not much happening whereas this building all lit up is quite lovely. So that is what I will do first. Then I'm going to have to start picking out my papers similar to what they show here. All right, I have trimmed my photos and I decided to go four by five and a half. So I really only cropped a half an inch, but you will see some of the border over here so that matches what they've done here so now i have to figure out they've got paper here and i would assume i will go white so that i can do something akin to what they've done here and leave this space for easy journaling and then i need to find background paper with a pattern plus just the standard background so really i'm looking at three papers one two three all right, I have pulled out a bunch of my stuff that I had already gathered for New York. So I have this, which has some papers in the back here. And obviously not all of these would be suitable. Yes, I have Harry Potter stuff in here because I saw Harry Potter and the Cursed Child when I was there. So I had to have Slytherin because the major characters are Slytherins. And then I have some Gryffindor because I'm a Gryffindor and Harry's a Gryffindor. And then I just have some generic stuff. I don't know that any of those would work. I do also have this pack. And this was left over from a different album. I had bought it for something else. But I have some of these papers left. And I'm wondering if this one right here might be a good match. It's blue. It's kind of a different blue than what's on the Amtrak train that I took. But it might be okay. And then like something like this might also work. So I'm going to mess with those, pull out the white paper for sure for the journaling, and then really that only leaves me one more piece that I have to find. Well, sadly, when I went into this paper pack, I didn't like anything there either. It just didn't feel like it matched well. So now I have one last pile to check here. And these are just general papers that I have. They weren't specific to New York. So I'm going to look through there next. Well, people, I'm striking out. I did find this paper, which has trains. And I was on a train, but it doesn't match. I don't like the look of it. It feels way too busy, even as a background with this. Let me think here. Could I do it? I don't know. If this were the background, and then I had a second piece over here, and then white, well, then I guess maybe you wouldn't see that much of it. The building is kind of a tan color here. What's on the other side? Well, that's kind of cool. But you know what? Maybe I will cut it. I'll cut two pieces of 6 by 12 and not stick anything down. And if it doesn't end up working, whatever. You know, then I've just cut the page. I'll use it again for something else. But I'm not finding anything else I really like. So maybe I better try it. All right, so I've cut that down, and right now I'm working with it. I'll change it out if I don't like it. Now I have to find the secondary piece here, and that's going to cover up a lot of the train, which might actually work in my favor. But looking at these photos, I think I either want to use this blue or red. 
because those are the only colors I have really that jump out to me. Everything else is pretty brown, which I already have, and then black, which I don't want to use. So let's see, blue or red, I'll give it a try. All right, I found this scrap piece of red paper in my stash of just extra pieces of cardstock so I'm going to use that. I do like the color scheme so that's good but looking at this I think I am going to have to adjust the photos more. I think I am going to have to cut off a little bit of the building, a little bit more of the train here just so you can see more of that red peeking through and then they do have these different sizes with this one being a little more narrow. I think I'm going to do it the opposite. I'm going to take that idea but I'm going to make the bottom photo a little more narrow. Or actually, you know what? Wait a minute. Maybe I should switch these, come to think of it, because we were on the train first underground, then we came out of the station and saw this. Well, that works better, because then when I trim that one, it'll match the sketch. All right, I trimmed these down, and these are both now five and a quarter, and now this one is three and a half instead of four. So that matches a little bit more closely what's being done over here, and it allows me more space so you can really see the background. So now I just have to cut the white piece and put it on there. I'm not gonna do a funky edge like they have here. I'm just gonna do a straight edge. All right, I have everything adhered down now to match the sketch, and I'm happy with the way this looks actually, so that's good. Now I'm going to just take a pen and I'm going to make the journaling lines that they show here. Sometimes I'll freehand, but I actually like the look of lines on some layouts, and here I do. Seeing it here convinces me that that's what I want to do, so I'm going to add those next. All right, I have added in the lines there and I just used my Zig Millennium pen. This is an old one I have. Just using it till it dies. I already have switched over to Micron pens, but I don't wanna not use these if they still work. So this is an 01, so it was a pretty fine tip. And I just took a scratch piece of paper, traced along the line and made them. So I really eyeballed it. I don't think that it has to be perfect necessarily. So this, works for my purposes just fine. So now I've got that done. Now the fun part really starts. I get to embellish. So I need something kind of over here. They have a title here. I don't know that I want to do that. I may do it up here and really all it needs to say is like Penn Station because that's where we came into when we got to New York. So I'll fit that in somewhere and then they have a little photo corner up here which I doubt I have. I think I used to have a punch that would make a large one so maybe I could do that but I'll find something to go up here as well. I pulled out a bunch of my travel embellishment stuff and I found two things I want to use. This is one of them. It's just a little phrase label tag thing here that says keep on exploring and I think I want to do that one down here where it shows something there and I'll probably still add something else because that's kind of small but up top here I pulled out these chipboard stickers and I want to use this one right here that says the journey and I want to put it right up top here and kind of use it as a title or subtitle just so that that's pretty much the first thing you see when you look at the layout. So I attached the chipboard sticker, which looks great. And then I have this down here. It's not adhered yet. I was looking at this thinking that, you know, what should I do with the rest of what's going to be there? And I'm thinking I might want to find something yellow. I've got this big yellowy stripe here. And then I do have a little bit there. Now, part of that might get covered up, but there is some yellow here. And just the tint of all the lights is yellow as well. So I'm going to look for something in that color and see what I find. So when I was looking at the chipboard stickers again, I found something else. This, look at that arrow, isn't that perfect? So it's not quite the same yellow, but it's yellow enough. So I think I'm going to kind of overlap it a little bit or put it under this or something, but I want to use that and then have it point right to the journaling. When I put those on there, I decided I needed a third thing. So I have a cluster of three down here and I decided to pull in red since I have it in the background and in the photos. So I'm going to use one of these lovely foam stars here. And I think I want the smallest one I can get. So I think I will take this one. And then how do I want it? Not right next to it, maybe down a little bit, like right there. Let's see, do I like it? Yes, I do. All right, so that cluster is done. Then I just have to figure out, do I wanna put Penn Station here or have it up top or just leave it alone? 
Well, I started putting these letters down for Penn Station over here and I didn't like them. The color didn't quite match and I just felt like it made it too busy. It just didn't look right. And I especially didn't like those particular letters with this photo. It just, I don't know, something about it didn't work for me. So I think this one's actually done. So I'm going to do a close up of the sketch again so you can see what they did from Page Maps. And then here is my final layout. It's pretty close. Really, the only thing I didn't do was that vertical title there. Otherwise, it matches pretty closely. And I love it that I got a layout done for my New York album. So thanks for watching, everyone.